You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. This is me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia. So y'all, let's just go ahead and jump straight right back in. This will be the first episode of Santa Lucia at the new place, and uh. Not gonna lie, guys and gals, I'm feeling a little homesick today. Um, I'm just trying to keep myself up. Uh, my roommates are helping. They're doing a pretty good job. Um, one of them is going to be making peanut butter cookies later, so I'm looking forward to that. But <sighs> Yeah, guys, I'm going to need all the love I can get to help uh, get me through this. Um, it's really not easy moving away, especially if you had a good childhood. Like A lot of people, a lot of people did not have good childhoods. I'm one of the lucky ones that did. So I miss, I miss where I grew up. I miss my parents, I miss my, my little animals. Anyway, y'all, uh, enough about my troubles. Let's go ahead and just jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> As I say that, it twitches behind me, recoiling in terror from past encounters. You always had a really long tail, Ben. Don't remind me. I lean back in my chair and stare up at the ceiling. Four fans rotate gently above, most likely just for show as the building's air conditioning does all the work. Are you going to look at the menu? Eh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She giggles to herself before hiding her face behind her menu. If I didn't know any better, I'd say she's flirting with me. <clears throat> Is this thing on? In one of the corners, there's a small stage with a shaggy-looking yak standing at a microphone. An acoustic guitar is slung around his shoulders. That's pretty cool. Storm Singer Studios. Looks like they have a setup for live music. I have a feeling Nate would appreciate that little tidbit. The vegan omelet sounds delicious, don't you think? I look over and see she's peering at me from above her menu. Oh, uh, I guess? I'm not a vegan. <laughs> I scramble to open my menu and find what she's talking about. Where is it? That's on the third page near the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, all things considered. You gonna get that? Heh, <laughs> probably. Anything catch your eye? Uh, give me a second. I start scanning for any categories that interest me. Soup, salad, sandwiches... Ah, the turkey avocado sandwich sounds perfect. G'day, mates! My ears perk up when someone walks up to our table and addresses us with an Australian accent. Oh! Chris! My name's Chris, and I'll be a sir. Chris? Bennett! Karina! Oh my god, I didn't expect to see you two! Chris, what are you doing here? Oh, I, uh... I work as a waiter here on the weekends. Helps me pay for my books and groceries. Most of the staff are students at USL, in fact. Really? I didn't think you'd need another job on top of being a mentor, dude. <laughs> ben... What? Her angry eyes glare at me over her menu. Every little every little bit helps, I guess. Chris pulls out a pad of paper and a pen from his apron pocket. I can take your order if you're ready. Karina continues to stare at me for a moment before putting the menu down. I'll take the vegan omelet, please. Any sides? Her main salad would be fine, thanks. Right-o! And a drink? Iced tea would be lovely. Sure thing, which flavor? Um... She opens the menu once more to check the drink section. I sit my arms folded, still thinking about why she was pissed at me. Oh, I'll try your peach flavor. Great choice, that's my favorite. And you, Bennett? Ella? I look up at him, breaking from my trance. Oh, uh... Open my menu and point a finger at what I want. I guess I'd like to try the turkey avocado sandwich. Ah, that one's delicious. You're gonna love it. Nice. Our sandwiches come with your choice of a home-style biscuit, mashed potatoes, or romaine salad. Which would you prefer? Um... Oh, that biscuit. Mashed potatoes. Oh, my God. Oh. I should be conscious of my weight, but... I'll try the biscuit. You got it. Anything to drink? I'll take a diet soda if you don't mind. All righty. Is that everything? I look over at Karina and she nods. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Perfect. I'll send this off right away. If you need something, give me a holla. Karina, hand, Karina hands both our menus to him. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Happy to be a service. He speeds off towards the kitchen, narrowly avoiding another waiter as he's backing away from the table he's serving. Karina leans forward and clasps her hands together under the table. Ben, not everyone is as well off as you are. What are you talking about? The job's Chris has to work. University isn't cheap. Try to be a bit more understanding of that, okay? 
I feel my face kind of burn at her pointing this out. I, I was trying to make a joke. I didn't think it'd come across the wrong way. You're right, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Still a knucklehead, I see. Hey, I'll have you know I'm pretty smart. I even won a little title in our yearbook. Oh, what was it? I smile and scratch under my chin. Most likely to serve you fries with that shake. <laughs> I knew you had it in you, Ben. You're really gonna go places, aren't you? You know it. You should have seen everyone's reaction when I told them I got accepted to into USL. We laughed together for a moment before settling down. So, we finally got time to catch up. Yeah, I guess we do. How's Chicago? We're just gonna jump right into it, huh? I smirk at her while folding my arms. What did you What did you expect? It's been on my mind for several years. Honestly, I haven't seen a whole lot of it. I shake my head and frown. As soon as we got there, Dad found the best boarding school in the city and dropped me off. I know the area around the academy pretty well, but as for the larger city, nothing. Really? He did that? Yup. That's terrible. I I'm sorry. God, especially after Jessica's... Please, can we not talk about that? I open my hands as if I'm about to cover my ears. I understand. But you can't keep running from it, Ben. How was high school after, How was high school after I left? She stops for a moment and stares at me. It wasn't easy, but I managed. Phew, she took the hint. My family moved out of town to Denver not long after you left, so, I'm th so that's something. Oh? Yeah, things got pretty sour between us and the family that, mo that moved in after you. Mom was ready to move on anyway, so she convinced my dad it was time to find somewhere else to live. It was hard to stick around after everything, what ha everything that happened. I stared down at the table, waiting for the topic to pass. We ended up in a nice little suburb on the outskirts of Denver. Finished high school there. Can't say I didn't miss you, though. I don't really connect well with other girls, if you remember. Yeah. I was always a little too weird for them. So you're saying you didn't make any friends? I wouldn't say that. I lean forward, interested in what she has to say. Go on. Oh, it's nothing special. I just had a long string of boyfriends. What? Karina, you started dating? I thought your dad said he'd kill any boy who got too close to you. He was just trying to scare you away. Actually, he really lightened up after the move. Maybe my mom talked him into it, I don't know. Truth is, I'm not really lucky with guys, dude. Excuse me, they never stick around longer than a couple months. Really? What kind of guys wouldn't fall for a girl like you? Who knows? It really busted myself to see for a bit. I hope things start, start looking up soon. I'm sure they will, Karina. She gives me a strange look that leaves me slightly uncomfortable. <clears throat> So, how about you? Find any girls while you were out there? Uh, no, not really. I think I mentioned I went into all-boys school, right? That doesn't mean you can't meet girls, Ben. Come on, don't be shy. I want to hear all about them. She leans forward over the table with her hands on her cheeks. Um, uh... Woo, you have a girlfriend, don't you? My face is probably beat red right now. Hey, Karina, stop! Ah, tell me all about the lucky girl! Uh, Karina, I... It all comes out so fast. I, I'm gay. All sounds seem to drain from the world, leaving me sweating bullets in my chair. Ah! Oh my god! My face contorts in agony, preparing for whatever she has to say next. Uh, don't hit me, please! Why would I do that? Huh? Blacks for a moment as the bad memories fade away. <laughs> she just sits there, smiling at me. What do you mean? I get it now. That explains everything. I'm sorry you felt you had you had to hide that. You had to hide who you are from me. I... I... Here you are, you drinks! Chris passes by right as I'm trying to formulate a response, placing the soda in front of me and the, in front of me and the tea in front of Karina. Thanks, Chris. Your lunch should be ready any moment. Don't worry, we're in no rush. He dashes off towards his next table. Are you okay? I... I don't know. I always envisioned this going poorly. She reaches out a hand across the table. Ben, take my hand. I reluctantly do as she asks. I'm proud of you. I know it takes a lot of courage to come out, and I want you to feel accepted. A strange flurry of emotions swirl throughout my body like a tornado. Thank you. Really, thank you. You're my best friend. She withdraws her hand, sitting back down onto her seat. I have a gay best friend. <laughs> hey, hey now, don't start treating me like a collector's item. Now, nah, I would never. Phew, you don't know how much of a relief this, this is. You should have seen my dad when he found out about my ex. 
catch myself before continuing any further. But not in time to prevent the slip. Oof. Aw, oh, you had a boyfriend, Ben? Shh, not so loud. Put a finger up to my mouth and look around me in case somebody overheard. I have to know everything! Okay, okay, just keep it down. Alright. Huh. I settled down to prepare for the interrogation. Karina always liked to get all the details whenever I did something without her. So... What was his name? A Eric. Cute! S stop that! Who? what species was he? Got off her ferret. A chameleon. He was a chameleon! Trying to cover my face with a hand. She's so nosy. Uh, he was... Uh... Okay. Ben, oh my god! She starts fanning herself with a hand. This really happened, didn't it? Yeah. Tell me how you two met. Do I have to? Took on my collar and let my hair let the air and to let a little air down my shirt. Yes. Ha. Uh, let me think. I closed my eyes for a second, remembering the first time I saw that chameleon. I didn't adjust to the move very well. Going from a place where I knew everyone to being dropped alone in a new place with strangers. Ben. Ended up being the quiet kid sitting in the corner. <laughs> Tenth grade was pretty bad. Spent most of it alone. Never really connected with anyone. I started getting better towards the middle of the 11th grade, though. Which is when Eric transferred to my school. Ah, he was a transfer, he was a transfer too? Yeah, it really, it really helped us connect, among other things. Tell me more! Well, one day this guy decides to sit next to me at lunch. And we strike up a conversation. Turns out we had a lot in common. Aww! Who made the first move? What? You know what I mean. He did. Huh. <sighs> we were really close for the rest for the rest of 11th grade, but when we get to the 12th, he didn't exactly have the best home life. I think his parents knew. I see. I convinced my dad to let him stay with us during the summer. Ah! He's completely obsessed with my story. I don't think I've stopped blushing since the conversation started. Um, he asked me out when he got when he when we got to back to Bernard for after senior year for se senior year. Aww! Ben, you know what I have to ask next! Oh god. I sink down to my chair a bit. So did you guys do it? Karina... Okay, sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I think for a moment. What's the harm? She's bound to find out sooner or later. We did. Ah! You skewered, Ben! Tell me about it! Why do you have to know all these things? Because I'm your best friend, now spill it! How did it happen? Ah! Uh, Look around the room again. Everyone's too focused on either their meal or the singing yak to give even the slightest shit about a gay cat and his nosy table partner. Wow, that was a sentence. Prom night. Nice! The thing about Eric is he always had a flair for the dramatic. He was a lot, he was a lot like Nate, actually. Oh? I mean, look how open and extroverted he is. Ah, okay. Still, I couldn't tell he never really had a... He felt 100% comfortable in his own skin. So... I asked him that night if he wanted to try it. You initiated, Ben? I nodded sheepishly. It was an all-boys school, so it's not like there were any girls at the dance. We weren't exactly welcome, let's say, for that night. People... We weren't exactly welcome, let's say, but for that night, people left us alone. So we went back to our rooms early and... I shrugged my shoulders. Dude! I'm so proud of you taking charge! My Benny boy's all grown up! Karina, please. So, which one of you was the top? Oh my god, damn it, come on! You've gotten this far, might as well tell me the rest. <laughs> Ugh, I give you an inch and you take a mile every time! You know it. He topped, I topped, he topped, I topped. Uh, I got him a switch, so... Honestly, I'm good with either. I shake my head. She doesn't need to know this. Nah, you're pushing it too far. You're right. Sorry. She puts a palm up through her forehead. I didn't mean to get carried away. It's okay if you want to stop. Can we just move the topic away from sex, please? Yeah. You mentioned he's your ex, so what happened? I take a deep breath. I believe she's not pressing any further on my sex life, but still on edge because the interrogation continues. We graduated. Oh. We mutually agreed that we wanted the best for each other, and that meant pursuing our education. Heh. <sighs> it's crazy, but if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have made it into UC at USL. I didn't really put much effort into high school until he came around. Sounds like he was a good influence. Yeah. I'm glad he was there for you. 
Where's he studying? He got accepted into Carnegie Mellon. Oh, that's really impressive. Yeah, I'm really happy for him. An unconscious tinge of regret wavers off, wavers off those words. Do you know what his major is? Oh my god. Do any of these come in later? Psychology, biology, computer science, public affairs. It always intrigued by the way so many species develop consciousness simultaneously. In the end, he settled on biology as his field. That's pretty cool. Do you still keep in touch with him? Not really. Huh. Something clearly goes through her mind, but she holds her but she holds her tongue. How about you? Are you are you okay how that it ended? Huh. I lean back into my chair and look up at the ceiling again. Man, what's taking our food so long? Sorry, sorry. Have your food right here, Bennett. Eh? Chris runs up to the table carrying two plates. The to-go line is, lo is longer than usual today. The kitchen is swamped. That's okay. <laughs> here's your turkey avocado sandwich. Thanks. And here's your vegan omelet, Karina. Thank you so much, Chris. Don't mention it. If you need anything else, just ask. The overworked Aussie makes a beeline for the kitchen again, trying his best to maintain his composure. This looks amazing! I mean, this looks amazing! I pick up half the sandwich, showing Karina the cross-section of everything that's inside. Ooh, enjoy! I'd show you my omelette, but I'm sure you wouldn't get it. Heh, <laughs> you never know, try me! He smiles at me with a sincerity I haven't, uh, a sincerity I haven't seen since we were kids. The conversation goes silent while we dig into our meals. Both of us were hungrier than we let on, it seems. Even though she can be a bit nosy at times, I'm still glad I came clean about my sexuality with her. It's reassuring to know that she has my back. So, that's why I applied here. I guess I can thank my teacher. Her letter of recommendation must have been great. Wow, that's a crazy coincidence. Fate, dude. We were never meant to be apart long term. Heh, <laughs> I know I can keep an eye on my... And now I can keep an eye. Now I can keep an eye on my gay Benny boy. Not so loud. Sheesh. She puts her fork down after finishing the last bite of her omelet. I, on the other hand, struggle with the second half of my sandwich. I'm glad you're excited about school. It took me a while, but I'm starting to get into the spirit of it too. Ah, huh, I'm so glad to hear that, Bennett. Chris swoops in and picks up Karina's empty plate. Whoa! I didn't even know you were there. I've been doing this job for a while. How was the food? The omelet was fabulous. Thank you, Chris. Good to hear. The sandwich is great too, but pat my stomach. It's a little too much. <laughs> I could get a box for you if that like you can get a box for that if you'd like to save it for later. I'd appreciate that. Thanks. No problem. Would you two like some dessert? I look across the table at Karina. I heard, I heard your tiramisu is to die for. It is. I'll take a slice of that if you don't mind. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any iced coffee? Yes, we do. Would you like to try our signature caramel frappe with whipped cream? Hmm. Sounds pretty good, but... Oh, I'll prepare it for you myself. I love making drinks. Okay, then. I'll have to give it a try. The smile is too infectious. I can't turn him down. Righto, I'll be back with every soon with everything. Thanks, Chris. He speeds off towards the, des towards the des dessert displays, leaving the two of us alone again. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.